Once you've connected your bank account to online banking in QuickBooks, QuickBooks downloads your recent transactions every day. All you need to do is review each transaction, categorize them into the correct account on your chart of accounts, and then add them to QuickBooks. Let's go over how to review the transactions downloaded from your bank and how to categorize them and add them to QuickBooks. Go to Transactions and select Bank Transactions to get started. You'll see a box for each bank account and credit card you've connected. Select any of the boxes to see the downloaded transactions for that account. Here is where you'll see all the transactions that QuickBooks has downloaded from your bank. These aren't in QuickBooks yet. You still need to categorize them to add them. Select the transaction to see more info. Make any changes or add any missing details. You can change the category that QuickBooks suggests, or if there isn't a category selected, choose one that best describes why you spent or received the money. If the transaction is a sale, categorize it as income. Select the income account that you use to track these kinds of transactions. If you're recording a purchase you made, you usually categorize it as an expense. But if the purchase is something that you will use over and over again for many years, like a vehicle or a computer, you should categorize it as a fixed asset. You won't see these often. If you don't see a category that works, you can add one here. QuickBooks will learn your categories over time, making this process easier. You can also split a transaction into multiple categories if you need. Select the categories and add the amount for each one. Just make sure it adds up to the total amount of the transaction. The supplier customer is optional, but it helps you run reports later to see who you paid or who paid you. You can also assign an expense or income to a particular project or customer so you can track the profitability of your work. Check this box to make an expense billable if you want to include the expense on a future invoice to the customer. If you don't know who the transaction was with, look at the bank detail. This is information sent from your bank that usually contains the name of who you spent money with. You can see more or less of this information by selecting the gear icon and then toggling on or off any of the fields you see. Once everything looks good, select Add. You might see some transactions that you've already recorded in QuickBooks or payments that you need to apply to open invoices and bills. If QuickBooks detects that a transaction relates to something you've already entered, you'll see Match Found. This prevents duplicates. If the transaction you have in QuickBooks matches what the bank sent, select Match. However, if QuickBooks is wrong and the match is not correct, don't worry. You can select Categorize to add it to QuickBooks as a brand new transaction. Or if you know you definitely entered the transaction into QuickBooks and the match is wrong, select Find other matches to match it to the correct transaction. Now you are ready to categorize transactions for your connected bank and credit cards.